Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be on how to teach the concept of float and sink to your kids. So without any further ado, let's get started. And before moving on to the video, if you're watching this channel for the first time, then my name is Asha and she is Irene. And on this channel, I grow, I do videos related to parenting, homeschooling, lifestyle and motherhood. And if you're the one who are seeking for ideas to educate your child at the same time in a fun oriented and in interactive manner, believe me, this channel is completely for you people and also if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel and watch so that you never miss any of the videos that I'm going to upload in the future it sinks or float float yes you are correct it floats very good. Okay. You will try with the next one. Ball. Ball. Okay. Do you know why the object float and why the object sinks? Do you know? You know or you don't know? See why the object sinks and why the object float? The object that are more dense than a water will sink. Correct? Wait. Take the balloon that is filled with air. Okay. The object that are less float. dense than a water float okay. uh, when the object is being tightly packed that is tightly filled with water it sinks when the object is loosely packed that is it is filled with air it automatically floats so for example see I am giving you this one okay this bottle uh, what you have to do is you just drop it in the water and see whether it floats or sinks Sink. no it is floating because it is loosely packed now this is being packed with air so it is loosely packed so it floats okay now i am filling this bottle with water okay now i am giving you the same thing and now you try what happens it sinks because it is tightly packed because it is tightly packed because this bottle is tightly packed with water so it sinks the next activity that you're going to do is you're going to segregate these objects that are that sinks and that floats separately and shall we do it Now can you pick one object that are more dense than the water? Yes. Which object is more denser than the water? Yes, because this object, what's happening? This object? Sink. Yes, so that it is more dense than the water. Can you show me one object that is less denser than water? Yes, you are correct. This object is less denser than water because it floats. Yes. 
Hope friends, I think you would have enjoyed watching this video. Then if so, give a like, share it with your friends and families. And apart from this, I also write blog articles related to parenting, motherhood and homeschooling. And also please do uh, read those articles, it will be super helpful. And if you are interested in buying flashcards and ebooks related to fairy tales, then it is available in my website. You can also check it out. All those links I have given in the description box below. And uh, let the right thing reach the right people at the right time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.